Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on factoring polynomials uh, with the pattern AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay, So we're going to fill in two pages here. The first page you're going to follow along with me and take notes. And then the second page, there's some problems for you to try on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So take a look at this first expression we want to factor. It's 3X squared plus 10X plus 8. And this is a little more advanced now because notice we have a front term that's 3x squared okay before now you've always seen just an x squared there so let's draw our parentheses and we're still going to use the reverse foil method to plug uh, to plug in the values but what I'm going to do is over here I know that 3x squared has to be broken apart from here to here right so something times something has to be 3x squared and then for the 8 something times something has to give us the 8 but the tricky part now is when I do the inside and the outside terms, I add those together, it has to add up to 10x, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list all the possible combinations of multiplying 3x squared. So I could say, uh, how about 3x times x, and then uh, we could flip it and call x times 3x. Now for eight, we could say, it could be, it might be four times two, it could be 2 times 4. It could also be 8 times 1. Or even 1 times 8. So I have to find the right combination of factors to plug in, okay, for us to work. So I'm going to plug in a 3x and an x. Let's start us off. And now I need to select a pair over here to plug in for the other values. So I'm going to plug in, say, a, um, how about the first one, the 4 and the 2. So 4 and 2, and we're going to say plus and plus, and now I'm going to do FOIL to see if we have it right. So uh, 3x times x is 3x squared, okay? The last term I know is going to be 8 because 4 times 2 is 8, but now the middle term, 4 times x is 4x, and 2 times 3x is 6x, and together that adds up to our 10x. So there it is, okay? So to be honest, I got lucky, okay? I plugged in the right numbers the first time. Now, let's say if I plugged in the 2 and a 4, it wouldn't have been the same. It wouldn't have worked. Same thing for the 8 and the 1 and the, and the 1 and the 8. So let's try another one. Here we have 10x squared plus 23x plus 12. So again, let's create our parentheses here. Now, this one's a little more advanced than the first one because 10x squared could be written as 5x times 2x. It could also be 2x times 5x or 10x times 1x, or 1x times 10x. So there's four possibilities there, okay? And then 12, it could be uh, 12 times one, it could be one times 12, it could be six and two, it could be two and six, it could be four and three, it could also be three and four, all right? So we have a lot of combinations to plug in, okay? But believe it or not, with practice, you'll kind of identify which ones make sense, believe it or not. But let's just plug in, let's give it a shot here. Let's plug in, say, um, a 5x and a 2x. So say we have 5x and a 2x. So I know 5x times 2x is going to give us the 10x squared. But now we need to get the values to get the 12, right? So hmm, if I plug in a 12 and a 1, I can tell that's not going to work. It's not going to add up to 23. Okay, so I'm going to try one, say, uh, I don't know, how about 4 and 3? So 4 and 3. All right, now let's do uh, FOIL. So 5x times 2x is 10x squared. 4 times 3 gives us the 12. Now here's the part you got to be careful with. with. 4 times 2x is 8x. And 3 times 5x is 15x. And guess what? 15x plus 8x gives us our 23x. Okay, these numbers have to be in this exact order, okay, where you have 5x plus 4 on one for one factor, and then 2x plus 3 has to be the other factor. All right, let's do the last one. Here we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, and let's create our little parentheses here. Now, this one's going to be a little bit easier because uh, there's not as many possibilities. So 2x squared, I know is going to be a 2x and an x. But now notice the last part is a negative five. So to get negative five, it could be a negative five and a one, 
or it could be a 1 and a negative 5. So one of these is going to work, but then we also have to worry about the, the signs. So let's try, um, I don't know, how about plus 5 and minus 1. So now when we do FOIL, 2x times x, 2x squared, uh, 5 times negative 1, negative 5. All right, the inside is going to be 5x, the outside is going to be 2x, and 5x and 2x gives us our 3x mill term. And there it is. All right. So to be honest, the way you get good, good at these is you have to practice. And with time, you'll kind of just develop an instinct about uh, which numbers work. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn to problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with these practice problems. So these probably should have taken a little while to do. You're gonna really mess up a lot of times at first, uh, but this one should have been five X minus three, and then X minus two, okay? And both of these have to be subtraction signs because a negative times a negative will give us a positive. But if you notice, a middle term is a negative, right? That's why they both have to be negatives. All right, the second one, 4x squared plus 8x plus 3. Uh, this would be 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. And notice all the terms are positive, right? Uh, or all, all the oper operation signs are positive, so thus these have to be positive. Same thing for down here. All right, we have 6x squared plus 5x plus 1, and it should have been 3x plus 1 times... 2x plus 1. And there it is. Alright, how'd you do?